been 11 days and there is still no trace of the Indian student who had mysteriously disappeared in the United Kingdom. Shavik Pal's family has appealed to anyone having information about his whereabouts to step forward and contact them. Shavik's father spoke exclusively to headlines today correspondent Lavina Tandon. He said that he was puzzled as investigation up till now suggests no indication of his death, stating either Shovik is hiding or is in captivity. He said he expects cooperation from the Indian government to find his son. The police at the moment is investigating the CCTV footage. So have you spoken to his friends and a uh, series of events on what, you, what happened? And yep. um, I was trying to you know, get all the jigsaw puzzles together to you know, match uh, you know the the frame so uh, the the police uh, had helped me a lot in terms of uh, taking me to the site and also sharing some video footage so that i can orient myself to what has happened on that particular day sir any gut feeling um really i'm puzzled i i do not have any idea any clue but uh, what comes to my mind that if sovik is alive uh, there are a lot of indications that he is alive because Police had done all the search in near about water waterways, and uh, they have not found so far any uh, anything positive there. So uh, hopefully, he, my son is alive. And uh, if he is alive, then there is two possibility. One is that he is hiding, or he is forced uh, by somebody else to um, captivate. So I do not know what what's happening today. It was a very short and sweet conversation what we had on 31st. Um, I had called him and <coughs> sorry, wished him for the new year. It was 31st midnight of Indian time. And then after he had a chat with my wife and always being a parent, we always look for that whether you are having good foods and you are taking care of your health. It's very cold out there. So all sorts of chat and he was very, you know, uh, very happy that he'll be also you know, going to the party and enjoying the 31st eve. So that's the discussion we had. Yeah, I, I'm in touch with Mr. R. R. Swine. Uh, in fact, he was here yesterday. Uh, he had spent a good amount of time during our last press, press conference here. Um, I told him like this, that uh, you are representing me, uh, the government of India. Whatever appeal and whatever help and support I'm expecting from government of India, I'll look forward from you. I'll appeal to government of India, to the media, to you, that uh, whatever the support or whatever the help they can provide, and this would provide to me in this uh, time of crisis. But uh, the greatest support what I can get is from uh, Greater Manchester Police, okay, because okay. they are the direct agency who can, you know, search my son. Here I'm appealing everybody every time. Whoever can give me a support, uh, it's government of India or it's UK government, it's uh, uh, Greater Manchester Police and any government or non-government non agencies, public, anybody under the sun who can help my, uh, me and my son to, to get united, I'll, I'll really, really appreciate it. I have full faith on Greater Manchester Police. Any racial language? Uh, there is nothing I can see after talking with his friends or after uh, talking with the, with the policeman here. The police is also speaking with Shovik's friends and the club manager where he was last seen. They were hopeful of cracking the case in the next few days. The line of inquiry that we're following at the moment is the CCTV. We have caught Sovik on CCTV at about 5 past 11 on New Year's Eve. And we're now trying to trace from there to see where his last movements were. Okay. I don't have a good feeling. Sovik has disappeared. It's very out of character for him. His family, his friends say it would be very unusual for him to disappear. Um, I don't know what happened to him. I'm appealing to witnesses in the area to tell us what they know and can they tell us where Sovik is. Yeah, we've spoken to the door supervisor who uh, asked Sovik to leave. That supervisor has been very forthcoming with the police and has provided a statement. We've spoken to friends of Sovik and we remain uh, close to and with those friends. Uh, but unfortunately, the moment they can't say Now, the sequence of events leading up to the events also poses more questions than answers. 19-year-old Shovik, along with his friends, 
were last seen partying at the warehouse project club on New Year's Eve at around 11 p.m. Shavik was asked to leave by the doorman due to an altercation over the toilets in the club. He hasn't been seen ever since he left the club. Now, witnesses in the club have confirmed that Shavik had not come across as inebriated. Lavina Tanda now uh, will get us more details over all these uh, developments really taking place through the day today.